Good afternoon guys, welcome to St. Augustine, where we're at the alligator farm. You can't really get too much more Florida than farms and alligators. And put them together, you got an alligator farm. It's in St. Augustine, um, and we're gonna check it out today. I haven't been here a long time, but look at this thing. Whoa. If that's what we got to look forward to, I'm in. And you can tell that they're definitely looking out for your safety. There's lots of safety signs, like this one, telling you to watch out for cars. But not just cars, alligators. Well, let's go. Just ran into kind of a neat surprise. Somebody I kind of recognize. That guy. You see that? Do you know who that is? Check this out. Yep. TikTok from Peter Pan. Captain Hook is lucky he got away with just a hand missing. Mm. So I got my map. I got my stamp. Let's figure out where we're gonna go. It's a little chilly today, but I think they're gonna do some feeding. So let's go do that. Looks like everybody's crowding up in the sun. Cause it is a little chilly today, especially especially for us Floridians. Soak it up, guys. Plenty of room for everybody. Plenty of room. Oh, it's feeding time. I'm feeding them some little pellets. They're not really too interested in it right now, it seems like. Oh, there they go. Whoa. Yeah, he's talking about rats. Yeah. You wanna jump up for me? Come on, big guy. Let's go. Oh, there we go. There's a lot of alligators here. This is the alligator farm, though. Oh, man. Save a little bit of energy there. Come on, Bob. He is feeding them. Oh, good job, buddy. Rats. It's okay, guys. It's not real. It's pretty scary. So, anyways, here we are at the alligator farm. Looking around. At alligators. This place is like over a hundred years old. It's like 1893 or something like that. Oh man, look at this. That's a big alligator. This alligator's name is Maximo. I'm assuming because he's maximum size. It's pretty huge. I think he's like 15 feet long or something. And he's ultra fat. Well, thick. Let's say thick. He's not fat. He's thick. Sorry, buddy. Soaking up a little bit of that sun today. I've also got some plants over here. And, oh, what is that? Is that a dinosaur? Looks like a dinosaur. They're so realistic. So now we're going into this underwater viewing area where Maximo is. Sometimes he's probably underwater. But this little guy right here. That is closer than I ever need to be to a... Even though it's a small guy. Still close enough. That's pretty neat. Through these doors, we're gonna go see what or who Gomek is. I don't know if Gomek is a thing, place, person, anim. I have a suspicion. We are at the alligator farm. Pretty cool. And check these handles out. Alligators. You can pull by the tail or by the mouth. This is a diamond python. And this is Diamond Python poop. 
17 and a half feet long, 1,150 pounds. That's right, 1,150 pounds. This, this is Gomek. Lived here at the alligator farm. Died here, living in a ripe old age of something that I don't remember. But he was old. I got the weight wrong. And the length a little bit. Wow. What a beast. That is not something you want to come across. He could swallow me in one fell swoop. Just... There's James. Down in there. Look at that thing. It's the lesser Sunda python. Look at his nose. Or his, his snout. It's like holes all in there. How weird is that? It's pretty though. As long as he stays on the other side of that glass. Alright, so we just came out of the tomb statue of Gomek, the giant alligator, out into this open area here. Goes out over the swamp where there are a lot of alligators in here. And I think you can feed them and pet them and. What? Hey, no. What's that? Hey, no. No. There's, there's no petting. No petting? No. Scratch but, the petting. Are you... But you can feed them and see them. Look, there they are. He's one of them. Resting, waiting. Yep, 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 nope, yep. And nope. Wow. Look at his teeth. They're so white. Remember that game Alligator Dentist? Wonder if that's is that a real thing? Ooh. Whoa. That guy right there. He thinks thinks I'm gonna feed him. But I'm not. I'm not gonna feed you. Not because I don't like you, but I don't I don't have any change to get the little food for you. Alligators. My goodness. Look, this is ridiculous. Look at all of these gators. You can hardly see the ground for all the, the gators. Look at that. This is insane. Absolutely insane. Look, I mean, they have to crawl over each other just to get around. That trail is all over, like it's it's over that swamp, which is crazy. Next up, Oasis on the Nile. It's gonna be some Nile crocodiles. It's very Egyptian themed. All this, I guess, well, at least the signs, hieroglyphics, and see up there, got some hieroglyphics. Whoa. Some Egyptian zip lining. Oh, there's a crocodile. Apparently it's the snout. How you can tell an alligator from a crocodile? I'm not really able to tell. That just looks like an alligator to me, but I guess it's a crocodile. There's a crocodile on the move. Where are you going? You following me? Or am I just where you were gonna be anyways? That's probably, I'm probably just it's probably just coincidence. I don't know if that's coming through on camera, but he has some neat colors. Alligators. No, sorry. Crocodiles. Oh, look at that. He's getting up on land. Wow, they look so much scarier on land than in the water. Even though I feel like they're probably faster in the water. Wow. The Oasis of the Nile. Nile Crocodile Exhibit. And here shows you normal size crocodiles on the males they get up to 18 feet long that's pretty huge as compared to a human Egyptian just walk like that habitat water diet brown birds white birds fish and zebras 
some West African crowned cranes and oh, empty carcass of a zebra. Birds of Africa, that's what these are. Birds of Africa. Let's see what else we can find. Whew. Guess what guys, the zebra is not real. Nothing to worry about. It's not morbid, it's just nature. It's just nature. There are quite a lot of birds here. Look at that parrot. Look at that parrot. It's so colorful and bright. Wow. are neat. But now, from the native ducks of America. There they go. There's some turtles. And a pumpkin though. There's some some heads. That's interesting. And whoa, holy moly, look at that dude. Why do you have such a slender snout? Weird. Apparently this is a, what is this? This is an Indian gharial. One of the largest of all crocodilians. This male, the male of this species may exceed 20 feet in length. Look at those teeth, man. That's crazy. And scared that. Now that looks like a. I, I, why is that scarier than a big snout? I don't know. But it is. Uh, yeah, see? That's nowhere near as scary. Might have something to do with the lack of teeth. What the heck? This must be an old di or dinosaur. This must be an old crocodile here. We should go see the other guys. Talk to the alligators. They know a good alligator dentist. Back to these Indian gharials. Oh, yep. There he goes. Not fooling me, buddy. Not going in there. But man, if you didn't know he was in there, you might just go in just for a nice little cool little dip. Not knowing that that is that it's just underneath the surface. Ready to get you. No wonder Jessica's afraid of the water. Man, oh my gosh, is this, is this real? This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Why is he just hanging over the edge like that? Good grief. Oh man, I think that's real. That is so real. Real scary. Slightly unnerving. I hear things, but I see nothing. I see you. Hmm. Well, here's where the Cuban crocodile habitat is, but check it out. They're playing music. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if he's amused. Or maybe that's how he dances. Is that the crocodile dance? This is the alligator farm. Ooh, this guy's on the move. This is that Cuban. He's right there. Is he gonna try to... I thought he was gonna try to walk across that thing. Now that would have been cool. Like a circus trick. Anyways, this is the alligator farm. They're alligators, crocodiles, birds, all of those type things. All associated with dinosaurs, I just realized. It should be called Dinosaur Place. Let's keep walking. I have no idea where I'm at. I'm totally lost. I have a map. I don't want to use it. This is a Yakari Cayman. Caymans are notoriously notorious. Oh, hey, what are you doing in there? Hey, buddy, you're not an alligator. You're just a lizard. It's like your buddy over there. Harmonious living. Harmoniously. That's beautiful. 
throughout the facility here, they have these bridges going across over the top of the crocodile pits. It's called Crocodile Crossing, zip through the zoo. So I guess you zip line and, and walk across these crazy bridges that are, they look like they're designed to make you fall in to these pits and uh, get eaten. Here, there be dragons. It says so, right there. All of them in one place. And now, it's time for Komodo. Let's go inside. And right away, we are greeted with this guy. Wow, that is gross. What is that? Is that spit? Like, dude, control yourself. Good grief. That's nasty. And here, following up the spine to the face of Komodo. Oh, look at this skeleton of a cobra. Wow, that's neat. What? The skeleton was cleaned using tiny beetles. If you look closely, you can see the specialized ribs that expand to give the cobra its intimidating hood. Like that. with all proper roadside attractions, we exit through the gift shop. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's an all right mug. $9.99. It's a good deal. All right guys, so that was the alligator farm down in St. Augustine, Florida, over 100 years old. This is really cool. This is one of uh, one of Florida's great roadside attractions. You get to see a lot of alligators. If you like Florida, or think that you like Florida, or like to visit Florida, or want to see what Florida is about, this place is probably the most Florida you can get. Thanks for coming along. If you liked it, let us know. We will see you the next time. As far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool.